What's going on guys, it's your boy Mr. 75 Caprizi with another video. Today guys, we are at the 75 shop about to uh, start working on these cars because we got the okay approval from World Wheels. Car show, they're gonna be in March, I think March 8th. So we didn't do the three days. So they got, they got two events going on the same weekend. So they got World Wheels which is downstairs at the Rosemont Convention Center. And it goes about three days. It goes from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, and then they got one on Saturday that is Tuner Galleria. So it's more for like tuner cars and stuff. Um, and all different kinds. I mean, it's been going on for years and, and pretty much they got all different kinds of cars. So um, I used to do World Wheels a lot back in the day, back, 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 back in the day. But I swapped. But I stopped doing it because every time we went in there, they would put us like all the way in the back. And that show, if y'all been there, it's really big. So you would have to literally go around the whole convention just to get to the back. And by the time the people make it back, they're kind of like, they're all tired. And you know, they just, nobody really wants to see the cars. They want to go home. Especially if y'all got kids, they tire walking or hungry. So um, I started doing Tuna Galleria two years ago. Uh, I had went with some of my buddies. They had a little booth there that they sell decals. Uh, so I liked it. It wasn't bad. The vibe's cool. Music, people like all the crowd. More like our crowd. So I did it two years ago. I did it last year. I took two of my cars. I took La Felix and I took Kilo. This year, guys, I registered four cars. So I'm going to show y'all which cars I registered. Can y'all guess? All right, hope y'all guys right. Let me show y'all. So um, I had already reg registered troubles, guys. So with that being said, guys, I had to extend it one more week because I kind of got confused. Uh, I had registered troubles for the show and I had already paid for it. So I didn't want to miss out on taking the car. So I had to extend the giveaway for a week, guys. I apologize for that, but it's just I, I had already registered. So I got the approval. So Troubles is gonna be one of them. Y'all the gonna be able to come see it in person. So if you guys are still iffy about maybe joining the giveaway, Troubles is gonna be at World Wheels Tuner Gallery on Saturday. And we're gonna be taking Classe Azul. So we need to get Classe Azul back on the road. Well, it is ready to go. It's just, we gotta do some minor things to it. So we're gonna be working on that one. Troubles is ready. You know, we're not gonna do nothing to Troubles, but give it a bat. And we are going to be switching the caps to the Forgiato caps because you know these ones are the double R Rolls Royce. So I do got the Forgiato one, so I'm going to be slapping those Forgiato just because sometimes people can't really process the fact that it's a Forgiato wheel. They think it just might be a replica wheel. Um, it is actually a Forgiato wheel, guys, with a double R cap. So y'all can see right here on the face that it is a 4G auto wheel guys so yeah guys we're gonna be taking Classe Azul we're gonna be taking Troubles um we're not gonna be taking Miami I was gonna take it but we're gonna be taking Legend instead of Miami guys um should have maybe took Miami huh Miami's nice so I should have took Miami instead of Troubles but I feel like taking Troubles instead of Miami was a little bit better so people can see the giveaway car in person and stuff. So Troubles still gonna get a shine guys. Uh, we got our car show. My car show gonna be June 9. Same place as last year. Same place has been for the past two years. So if y'all missed the first or the second, this will be my third annual car show in Joliet, Illinois guys, June 9. So y'all make sure you guys put that in your calendars. June 9 guys, we're gonna be having our third annual car show. So y'all are not gonna wanna miss that. I'm gonna have more cars. I'm gonna have all my cars there, guys. Whatever I have that is bolted up, we're gonna be having there. So, it's gonna be Miami. Um, this one, this one hopefully gonna be there. We are gonna do some changes to it as well. Glass Azul is gonna be there. Troubles, well, it's gonna leave us, guys. Unfortunately, you guys know this is a given car, so that one's not gonna be there. Y'all can probably pull up with this one if y'all win it. So if you guys haven't yet, go get your entry now on Troubles. And if y'all win it, pull up to the car show. That'll be pretty dope. So 
This one ain't gonna be there. Classy Azul. This one's gonna be in my car show. This one's gonna be in my car show. Lucky's gonna be in my car show. And you guys already know the other cars. So, yeah, guys. So, those are the four cars I'm gonna be taking to World Wheels. It's gonna be Troubles, Classy Azul, Legend, and Takashi. And the only reason I'm taking Takashi, guys, like I said earlier, it is a Tuner Galleria show. So, they be having like all different kind of sports cars, supercars, foreign cars. It's like, it's pretty cool. So, I think. That the CA got a lot of cool features and it came like that. So that's probably gonna be the last time I'm gonna showcase it like that because I never, that was just more of my toy car, uh, my personal days and whatnot. So I'm just gonna take it like that before I start doing some changes. So yeah, we're gonna have Takashi, the C8, and Legend in these two cars, guys. So uh, today, guys, we're gonna be taking this bad boy to the other shop. We brought Rochelle, which is outside. I'm gonna put it back in here and take this one. We're gonna give it a bath. We never did a bath on it, how dirty it is. And I just wanna, well, actually don't look dirty in the camera, but it is dirty, guys. I don't know if y'all can see how dirty it is, but, man, it's crazy. It looks clean on the camera. But we're gonna be taking bull face to go get washed. And uh, just see everything, start putting the list together of what we're gonna be needing to complete the car for the year. But we are going to be making some changes on it. I kind of want to tell you guys, but then I don't want to tell you guys because it's a surprise. But yeah, guys, we got big plans for this bad boy. So it's going to be a big project this year. And which one else? Well, the 70 one's coming along, but it's just we're still waiting. That one's going to be a slow pace because we are waiting on shop space and people to be ready for us. So we are waiting on that. But guys, enough with the talking. Let me move these two cars so we can pull out that one and head back to the other shop. All right, guys, we are in bull face. Once I go back to the shop, see if uh, Jordan's there so we can see, uh, maybe do a little, little action or something, you know, a little burnout, something. So yeah, guys, I'm going to check back once we get to the shop. Alright guys, we just pulled up at the shop, just holla at Jordan, told him he wanted to do a little burnout or something, you know. Not no donuts because we ain't trying to put nothing, like I, I think there's stuff in the trunk, so I don't want that thing flinging and doing a... Uh, put a dent on the quarter and stuff so so I'm just just a little something you know just so we can hear that turbo spool so just from observing everything we're gonna have to change some bulbs because I don't know why those are on that middle one should not be on like that uh, when the brakes hit on a box Chevy only the two outer ones should light up not the middle one so that one's wrong and then that one's wrong so both the middles are wrong. I'm gonna have to check those. Two tail lights. Well, there's like a lot of balls missing. That one's missing. This one's missing. Grill's missing. Ah, the grill's inside, guys. But yeah, we got a. We got. I don't know why that's on either. That shouldn't even be on, anyways. Why is that on? Well, that's on too. The light. Uh, so yeah, like I said, we're just gonna be observing what everything else needs to be done and stuff. But we got Playboy GZ over there pulling up. I don't know what he got over there. He got an empty trailer. Jeez, why is it when we're gonna be doing some action, all these people pulled up? Is that what? Is your car's ready? Your car's ready? Yeah. Ready yeah. Well, 
that is great. Now we got all these cars over here, guys. Jeez. I was trying to do some uh, little action. Interior is like new, guys, but we're still going to be doing some changes to this. I know we are missing the headrest, so I got to get some headrest. Uh, what else? We got the new, well, we got a Dakota Digital. That's good. We might be getting the um, double din ring, double din uh, kit because this one just has a single din. We're trying to put a double din where like, uh, I was trying to have my buddy do me like a console here with the floor shifter, but he said it's gonna be kind of tough because there's not a lot of room. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to do nothing with that, but I'm sure Nick can do something. So we're gonna have Nick doing something. We're gonna have to do some kick panels for the music. I mean, we still got a lot to go guys. This is just a little for now. You ready? Two or one. Oh, uh, let's see how that one goes. Don't break it, Jordan. We on camera. The, all right, all right. You know how to do it, right? That one's a reverse uh, thingy. The shifter. Reverse, all right. Yeah, and then there's a trans brake. Okay. Gotcha. All right, trunk was on. Getting dark over here. Okay, okay, we got that third brake light on. He's gonna go backwards or he's gonna do it right there. Yeah, you know Jordan loves that. <laughs> what you think about it, man? What you think? It's the wheel man right there. You like that or what? What you got up in there? Oh man, it's just it's just a 5.3. Oh man, come on. Just now. a 5.3 with a turbo. Plane. Yeah. Sounds good, right? Yeah, that mob tough, definitely. It sounds good, man. Been wanting to do that since I got it back, but. Doing the stuff on myself is kind of hard, you know? Yeah. Hey, what am I supposed to put the camera like right there on the ground with a tripod? Yeah, you got to get a mount. Then you got to yeah. know the angle right. Too. Right, man. Right now, Jordan, you know, it's just better. I get to get it good and stuff. I told, I told him that's baby driver right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that thing sound good though, man. Yeah, that one was tough. I heard it start up. I had to come out here. He was like, it sounded like that truck. I'm like, hold on. I'm like, no, that ain't no truck. Like, that's, that's sounded good, man. I wish I'd have stuff, I would have to do a donut and stuff, but I got a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. I don't want it to like, you know, put things start flying and stuff. Are oh, you gonna do another one? Yeah, you know Jordan loves doing that. Unless he's gotta park it. He's got that reverse uh, shifter. You gotta shift up. It's a little tricky, you know, you gotta like play with it up and down and stuff. He wants to go again. All right, I gotta do it one more time. One more time, guys, for y'all.
Jeez. <laughs> All right, that's it, Jordan. <laughs> we, we, we we got a whole summer. <laughs> got a little shift kit in there, and I'm all chirping on the gear. Yeah, this sounds good, man. Thing sounds good, man. I love turbo cars. Just like how they spool and then they just, oh, you know. Man. Man, I, be, I gotta do that on the on the drop. I gotta put a two step or something, man. Yeah. I don't got none of that stuff. That's, that's why I'm gonna grab the two step as soon as I put that boost on my shit. Yeah, I mean, it was at, like, we took it at the track already. We covered, like, we took it down, what, three, four times? But it was cold, you know, it wasn't really the same. Yeah. So we're just gonna wait for the weather break, see, yeah. see what it do. That good little mid-spring weather which you want. He said he's coming back this way? Okay, Jordan. He knew he was gonna tell him. He's like, hey, he knew that was the last one, right? He said, that's the last one. Tripod is just fucking. It's just kind of hard, man. Hell yeah. Just to make it happen. It's decent, though, right? Hell yeah. Definitely decent. You know, once the weather breaks, we're gonna have fun. I'm gonna have you do more stuff with it. Hell yeah, I gotta hurry up and get my shit ready. Hell yeah. Alright, bro, thanks. Yeah. Alright, time for a wash. Like I said earlier, we haven't washed this car ever, ever since we bought it over there in Oklahoma. So it's all dirty and stuff. Look, we still got the racing numbers from when we took it at the track. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, we got we got a big project here, guys. But I'm excited. So let's start by spraying some cleaner on the wheels. This thing reeks from the burnouts. So, yep, we're going to clean this bad boys, and we're going to clean the whole car, guys. And then, going to be showing you guys the aftermath. So, yep. Learning the car, you know, I've got to make sure I know what the car's going to need and, you know, all the miscellaneous stuff. Because, you know, this time goes by fast, and then we don't want to be stuck fixing little stuff that we need to be fixing so yeah look at all that tire all that rubber but well, you guys stick around and watch the magic happen after the wash
All right, guys, and here it is. Bull face. We ended up putting a belly grill we had in there. It just it was bothering me not uh, having a grill, but we do have the tear grill inside. I just don't want to put it on right now. So that should do for now. I mean, it don't look bad on it, right? The belly grill with the Chevy bow tie. I think it looks it's pretty good. Actually, I used to make those back in the day. Uh, if y'all ask any of my friends, they know what I'm talking about, but I used to make those back then and I used to add like a chrome metal double-sided tape in the middle, like a trim to like right here, guys. So I would add the billet bow tie and then I would put like a strip right here. It looked pretty, pretty cool. But yeah, give it a bad, not too bad. Looks definitely better than what it used to paint on it you can see it now it's shining it's crazy huh with a wash i mean for some reason i got in the camera guys the car looks better but it was actually really dirty the lips did not have no shine at least now like everything is clean you can see the paint reflection unless it's just the camera Telling you guys, this camera quality is so awesome. It just catches everything. But yeah, clean up nice. My first time washing it, and I think it looks it looks great. What y'all think, gang? Eh? Get in the comments section. Let me know what y'all think. Yeah, that's nice. Nice, nice, nice. So I am gonna repaint the car, guys. At one point. Still, still doing and figuring out what I'm gonna be doing to it. So, I want you guys to get in the comment section. Let me know of any ideas what you do to this car. Uh, we are gonna be changing the wheels. We are gonna be changing the color. Uh, I mean, we are gonna be changing the paint job. So, get in the comment section and let me know what wheels ideas can you guys give me for this? Should we do? Um, uh, gold should we do rose gold should we do billet should we do 26s again should we do 28s should we do 24s 30s like let me know guys or should we do uh wider wheel in the back or ecl like i don't know i want to hear you guys ideas uh this is going to be my new build right now because this one right now guys is going to be on standby for now until uh we get shop opening so so now this bad boy is gonna be the new project so i want to hear you guys ideas what uh what can we do to this i want to change it up i want to change the color of it um but change the color guys but i kind of want to stick some, something that's gonna match the interior because interior is blue and i don't want to kind of like the interior is new so i don't want to do too much like with the color change so it's got to be some kind of blue or something that goes with blue any ideas i know there's like like the destroyer gray color or i mean there's a lot of ideas guys like i said i just want to hear you guys ideas and we're gonna go from there but uh we are got we got to get the ball rolling because we got to order some wheels before it's too late and we get to uh be waiting for them all summer because you guys know that once spring comes everybody starts ordering wheels and then you'll be back waiting for them and uh just want to want to get the order in i want to make sure we have an opening for the paint job i want to make sure we have enough time because i actually want to have this ready for my car show june 9th guys so yeah get in the comment section let me know what y'all think of what uh add-ons we should do to this bad boy let me show y'all the trunk. We got all the missing pieces in the trunk. So this is the trunk. It looks like it's been soundproof or dynamite or some kind of material. And we got the battery right here. We got a small amp right there. And man, here we got the Landau trim and the window trims to go in the front from what I was told. So I'm not sure if we're gonna be missing anything. I'm hoping we're not missing anything, but we won't know until we put it back 
together. So I don't know what we got here. Turbo stuff. Looks like it, right? Pretty cool thing right here, guys. We got a box full of receipts of everything that's been done to the car. Actually, pretty cool, right? So we got the box full of receipts. Here we got the material for the top, Landau top, guys. So um, it's blue to match the inside. So that's what I'm saying. I kind of want to stick with a blue, guys, so we can kind of, you know, uh, keep the blue stuff. What is this? The new Chevrolet. Okay. 1980. Gee, this is this, is, guys. What is this? Okay, it says. Let me focus it on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to catch this, guys. This is funny. Reasons to buy the new Chevrolet Caprice and Impala. You want to know the reasons? All right, there it is. America's number one selling fuel size car. Trans setting, styling for today, comfortable. Oh, okay, there's like a build sheet. This is dope. I never seen this guys before. Build your own Chevrolet. I wish we had these options. So right there shows you all the options. You can get a classic sedan, a coupe, a Landau coupe, a wagon, two seat, three seat wagon, Impala, Impala Sports. This is dope, guys. I didn't even know this was in here. But this is gonna go to my house. This is pretty cool. Pretty cool. So that's awesome. I never, ever seen that. Y'all ever seen this before? Reaching out to, man, this is dope. So yeah, guys, this is the trunk, what it looks like. We got miscellaneous parts here. Turbo cover, uh, what is this? Ah, carpet to match. Battery charger. This belongs to CJ. He actually told me if he had forgotten it. Yep, he did, my boys. Right here. We got the wipers here. I wonder if we're gonna put those back. Uh, I seen that we were missing the windshield washer. Uh, I mean, the wiper motor. So we're gonna have to put uh, a wiper motor. What we got up there? We got a speaker. Oh yeah, we do. We actually got four six by nines. Nice. I don't even know if the if the music works on here guys i never even tried it i know we got a lot of relays and stuff here so yeah guys this is what the trunk looks like right now so the trunk actually looks like a different kind of blue can y'all see it looks darker and then, then the outside looks different and then like the engine bay looks kind of different guys let me show y'all the engine bay because y'all probably forgot what's under the engine let me show y'all real quick this is the inside This is the best part of the car, guys. Voila. Big turbo LS, guys. Look at that bad boy. Mm -hmm. So even like the engine bill is kind of different blue. So yeah. We want to have all same color blue so like i said guys let me know get in the comment section uh, we're going to be doing some changes so i want to hear you guys input on this but yeah this setup is pretty nice and clean i like it and it runs runs pretty good y'all y'all seen it in motion so pretty nice mm -hmm. Well guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Wanted to, been wanted to show you guys Bullface. I know I haven't really put it in the vlog ever since we picked it up from CJ and we really didn't do much because it was cold and we were at the track, but now we finally got to see it and kind of seen everything we're gonna be needing to get for this car. So uh, we're gonna start looking for some parts and stuff, but yep. That is Bullface, guys. Probably gonna change the name, guys, once it's done, because I wanted to have a more of aggressive name, or you know, more catchy. Right now, I just wanted to name it that just to have something to name it. Because 
Uh, when we hit bought the car, it came with a bull face uh, skull head. So I kind of wanted to relate it with the car just because it's of the story that the car had when we picked it up. But now that we are gonna redo the whole car, I'm gonna put a different name and see what's to it. So, well guys, it's time to go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm out.